Here we are at the end. The end of our journey through the Simple Series. Now, don't get me wrong. There are other Simple Series. But for those ones, I'm not particularly interested in them. For example, the Simple Series exists on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. But both are just a single volume and are Mahjong. So, yeah. There are other examples too, but I'm not really interested in looking at them. The only exception to that rule would be the Simple Series on the Nintendo Switch, but then doing that would be costly, as most of the games are Japanese exclusives, and I would have to purchase every single one of those games. But maybe one day, maybe one day. So, this is the collective end for the Simple Series on this channel. Ending with the two Simple Series on the Wii. The Simple 2000 Series Wii and the Simple Series Wii, with a total of eight games between them. First, let's look at the two volumes for the Simple 2000 Series Wii. Let's go! Volume 1 of the Simple 2000 Series Wii is exactly what you'd expect. The Table Game. It is a port of Volume 1 of the Simple 2000 series on the PlayStation 2, and it's a pretty good port at that. This one is also developed by Yuki Enterprises, who developed all versions of the table game across all the systems, the DS version, PSP, PS2. This port is pretty good, solely due to the reason that it doesn't even implement motion controls. You hold the Wii Remote on its side, and you play that way, like you would a standard controller. You have the standard affair here, just like with other versions of the table game. You have Mahjong, Shogi, Reversi, Gomoku Narabe, Ego, Hanafuda, just to name a few. And you also have a few card games like Sevens, Solitaire, as well as others which I forget the names to. Pretty solid, the table game, and possibly the best version out of all of the versions available of the table game. It's a great game, and uh... You know, I kind of wish, you know, this. if there's any Simple Series game that gets localized in the West, I would preferably would like this one, personally. Just because it has a lot of replayability with friends, you know what I mean? You know, imagine this game in English on Steam. Yeah, you got quite a few things you can play. It's a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. That's what I'm getting at. Anyway, let's move on. Next is the only game to be localized in the West of this video. That being Volume 2, The Party Game, known in the West as Family Party 30 Great Games, developed by Tamsoft. So, this Family Party game must have been pretty popular in the West, as it ended up spawning a couple more games and actually making it a series. As in Japan, it only had the singular Party Game. The sequels were exclusive to the West, so... What is Family Party? Well, it's a video game with 30 mini games you can play by yourself or with friends. Think Wipeout or Takeshi's Castle, you know, mini games like you would see from those type of shows. In that regard, you could say it's quite similar to the Wipeout Wii games I've played before. So, you pick a character, you pick a stage, which has like five mini-games each, give or take, and go. The mini-games variety is pretty good. Each course has a certain theme to it, which, in my opinion, is a good choice to do, have certain kind of a consistency with the, the, the each of the stages. The motion controls are fine too, even if I had a bit of trouble with it, you know. But that's mainly down to me, because I don't like motion controls, personally. But they're implemented fine here, and it's the type of game you would, you, you know, I could forgive having motion controls in. So, overall, I would say this game is okay. It's about as good as the Wipeout Wii games. And it even has similar minigames. Nowadays, I would say this is a good game to play with friends while you're a little bit drunk. You know, it's one of those games. So, that was both volumes for the Simple 2000 series Wii. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing another intro. 
because I'm going to be talking about the Simple Wii series next. I'm going to be talking about all six volumes of the Simple Wii series. So I feel like it was needed for me to do another intro to give you kind of a heads up about this series before we go into it. The first two games are developed by Toze, but I think all games are developed by them. Also, all games have a certain art style to them. This anime, chibi-looking art style. This is what leads me to believe Toze developed all of them, instead of just the first two volumes. Also, unfortunately, volumes 2 and 5 I couldn't actually play. Because they wouldn't work in the Dolphin Wii emulator. And those two games have no gameplay on YouTube, which is fantastic. I mean, like, pretty much all of the games that are a part of the Simple Wii series, all six games, barely have any gameplay, gameplay on YouTube to begin with, but still. But this means I can't actually look at those games at all, which is disappointing. But in case you are interested, Volume 2 was a fishing game and Volume 5 was a block kuzushi game. So maybe we're not really missing anything, who knows. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the remaining volume, shall we? Let's go. The first game is a kart racing game. Okay, that's neat. You can create your own character. Cool. And then you can go straight into it. Eh? This? This is not good. So the controls are motion controls, because of course they are, which is fine, I guess, but the turning isn't great. There's no power-ups? What? Okay. The courses are bland and boring. Great. So let's round it up. And I'm dead serious when I say that. The game has motion controls, which is more of my problem than anything, but... The turning is rather poor, meaning the motion controls feel worse than they would do normally. Just think of, like, I, I can play Mario Kart Wii with motion controls and have no issue whatsoever, and yet here it just feels horrible. Mainly because of the turning. The turning is not good, if I'd be honest. There's this whole drifting thing you can do, and that's not very... that doesn't work very well. The drifting mechanic isn't particularly implemented very well. It's not like, again, not like Mario Kart Wii. <sighs> But then, there's no power-ups, which is, in my opinion, the cornerstone of kart racing games, which uh, doesn't add any flavor to the races. And then the tracks themselves are quite bland. Wow. So, yeah, no wonder this game is pretty obscure, even for the Simple Series, because uh, maybe it's obscure because it's just really boring and bland and, like, I, I, I wouldn't even say budget. Like, I think all of the, the entire series is supposed to be budget, but nothing has felt this terrible until now. I'm, and I'm dead serious with that. But anyway, it, it's not good. I can't recommend anyone play it. Just don't play it. Next is Volume 3, Ason di Wakaru, The Party Casino. Okay, same character creator. You'll see that this, this character creator is used in all volumes of the Simple Wii series, at least I assume so. I don't know for Volume 2 and Volume 5, obviously, but I'm pretty sure. I've seen it in all the other versions. All the other volumes, I'm pretty sure it's going to be you know, all of them. So, so they're, you, they're reusing stuff, which is fine. It's okay. There is a certain art style to, the, the, to this particular series, so fine. So, what do you expect from Party Casino? Well, it's a casino, so roulette, Texas Hold'em, and blackjack are a given. Anything else? No. What? So, to start off, you only have three games available. There is more games. I can see that there is more games as it scrolls past those games when I go to select the three that are available. So I imagine they're locked or something. But still, only having three available at the start is really, really bad. <laughs> you shouldn't think you would have more than that. Right. The gamble... You, you gamble coins, you, and you have to try and win big. As everyone does in the casinos. And it's pretty boring. Like, I don't know how many coins you need to get exactly, or what you need to do to unlock the other games, but you just basically go and gamble coins, and it's, uh, it's, that's what it is. It's kind of boring. The motion controls in this are simply implemented as selectors for options, so 
want to select an option, just wave your Wii remote over to where you want to go, where you want to select. I personally say give this one a miss. Um, yeah, it's, it, there's better casino simulator video games out there for the PlayStation 2 than this. Next is Volume 4, the Doko Demo Asuberu, the shooting action. Create a character and go into a tutorial. Okay. So this is a versus shooting game. Kind of like asteroids if there was only one asteroid and it was the other player. How the hell do I get out of this tutorial? I keep going back to the main menu, selecting all options, but every time I am bombarded with this tutorial. Ah, uh, okay. I have to go through it and defeat the opponent. Okay. Now I've gone through that, I can progress. So, the mode I seem to have chosen was a survival mode. Okay. So the controls are fine. You need the nunchuck chuck for this one. But the, uh... The controls for that are fine. You use the nunchuck for the movement, and the Wii Remote allows you to aim the gun, blast, or whatever you're using to, to attack. Eh, this game is okay, but once again, it's just it's just kind of a bit bland, you know? Not like the Party Casino, where it's kind of just, just lacking in content. It's more of just like uh, the kart racing game. The genre it's doing is just, uh, it's just doing, not, not doing that genre justice. It's just being very bland, very boring, it's not exciting at all. So once again, I can't recommend this one. And it seems to be a recurring theme here. I can't recommend any of these. <laughs> anyway, let's let's talk about the very last game, shall we? Lastly, we have Volume 6, the YY Combat. A game where you fight three other opponents using various weapons in a combined arena. A style of game that is fairly old now, and if done well, can be brilliant. This, on the other hand is not brilliant. Once again, you need the nunchuck for movement and the Wii Remote aims. I don't really have anything else to say, really. I'm not even joking. This is just... yeah. It's another really bland game. You run around fighting the same enemies with very basic weapons. I ended up using a hammer solely because it only took then two hits to kill an enemy, rather than using a gun which took multiple, multiple, multiple hits. And the aiming with the gun was a pain, so uh, that was the other reason I picked the hammer. Like I said, it's just outright boring. I just uh, oh, It seems like all of these simple Wii games, with the exclusion of the, the first two volumes, those being obviously the table game and the party game, um, this, the Wii, you know, simple Wii series is just kind of just full of boring entries, if I'm honest, that don't feel like they really had any kind of effort put into them whatsoever. So with that, I have nothing else to add to this game. Nothing else to say. It's just boring. Um, just don't bother playing it. So that was all of the simple Wii games that I could cover. Overall, quite disappointing, to be honest. You know, I had no issue with the Simple 2000 Wii series. I thought they were pretty good, even though there was only two volumes. But the Simple Wii series... The six games that were a part of the Simple Wii series were just really bland and boring across the board. Like I said, disappointing. Um, anyway, that is it for the Simple series. I hope you've enjoyed this series, because I've enjoyed looking at them, but now it's over. I'm a little bit sad, uh, actually. But, uh, anyway, regardless of that, I hope you have enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.